This is the second video about vector geometry, looking at slightly harder questions, but still not too difficult. Now, the shape we're looking at today is a hexagon. And as before, I'm going to start by highlighting all the lines which have the same vector name. Now, for lines to have the same vector name, they have to be the same length and they have to be parallel. So the first vector we know the name of is the vector from O to A. Now there's quite a lot of lines on this diagram with the same, that are the same length and parallel. For example, C to B is the same length and parallel, so that will also be called the vector Q. The vector from E to F is parallel and the same length, and the vector from D to O is parallel and the same length. So all the red highlighting are the vector known as Q. Now look at the vector from O to B. This is the vector R, which I'm highlighting in blue. So every line which is parallel to OB and the same length will also be called the vector R. So D to C will also be the vector R. E to O is also the vector R and F to A is also the vector R. So as you can see, we know a lot of names for this diagram. So to express the following vector in terms of Q and R, the vector from A to B. So start from A, finish at B and go along vectors that you know so starting from A, I'm going to go from A to O and then O to B. A to O is minus Q because I'm going in the opposite direction. And O to B is the vector R. So you can leave it like that or write it as R minus Q. So I now know the vector from A to B. The vector from D to B, again, Go along vectors you know, and you can see that I can go from D to C and then from C to B. So the vector from D to C is the same as O to B, so that's the vector R. And the vector from C to B is the vector Q. So DB is the vector R plus Q. The vector from O to C is actually the same as the vector from A to B because they are parallel and going in the same direction. A to B we have found is R minus Q. O to C is also R minus Q. The vector from F to D. Now to go from F to D, we want to go along vectors that we know. So a little bit of thought this time. If we go um, from F to D, we could go F to E and then add on E to D. Now, F to E is fine, but E to D, at the moment, we don't appear to know. But if you look at ED, the line from E to D is parallel to and the same length as A to B. So we do actually know its name. So I'm going to go, to get from F to D, I'm going to go from F to E, which is parallel to cube in the opposite direction. So it's minus Q. And then add on the vector from E to D, which is the same as the vector from A to B. So I'm going to add on R minus Q, which all together gives me R minus 2Q. So let's have another look at a, again, slightly harder and again involving slightly different things. This time we have a triangle, but we also are told about a midpoint. So let us highlight the ones that we know. We know P to Q and we know P to R. The first one we want to find is Q to R. To get from Q to R, we're going to go from Q to P which is backwards down the vector z, so it's minus z, plus p to r, so it's the vector x. Again, leave it like that, or write it as x minus z. 
Now, QM is part of the way down the line QR. So it's going to have the same vector name as QR, but it's going to have a number in front of it. And we know from above that M is the midpoint. So QM, the length of QM, is half the length of QR. So the vector from Q to M will be half the vector from Q to R. So the vector from Q to M is a half of X minus Z. And then P to M. So P to M is not on your diagram yet. Draw your line on. P to M. Make sure you put your arrow in the right direction. And to get from P to M, I'm going to go from P to Q, because I know that one, and then from Q to M, because I have just found out that part. So P to Q is the vector Z, and Q to M, if you look back at part B, is a half X minus Z. Then treat it as algebra, that Z plus a half X minus a half Z, multiplying out the bracket, Z minus a half Z is a half Z. So I end up with a half X plus a half Z. And then it's finished.